Hi, my name is Dave Davis and I welcome you to this tutorial where we are going to talk about how to build custom Docker images for AWS SageMaker. Uh, we will begin with the introduction bit and then we will get to building Docker images and then we will set up an installation folder on our local machine after which we will uh, tag the images and store them in the Amazon Elastic Container Registry and then we will attach the image to SageMaker Studio. From there you can use them to uh, train your machine learning models. So what is Docker? Docker is a technology that allows data scientists and developers and machine learning engineers to package their projects into standardized units that run consistently on any platform that supports Docker. Now, Amazon uh, SageMaker is a cloud machine learning platform that helps or enables uh, developers to create and train and deploy machine learning models in the cloud. Now, it makes extensive use of Docker containers to allow users to train and deploy their models. It also provides a great interface for running custom Docker images on GPU instances. It handles starting and terminating the instance, placing and running the Docker images on it, customizing the instance, stopping conditions, metrics, training data and hyperparameters of the algorithm. So with this brief background, we will now get into building uh, custom Docker images. And um, first, uh, we will create a directory. So make a directory and name it Docker. Uh, then we'll get to directory. So for one to be able to build an image, you need to have a Docker file which describes the image that you want to build. So I will first begin by creating a Docker file using my best editor, which is Vim. You can use the, any editor that you like. So I will name it a Docker file. Just name it Docker file. Then um, just cop I will copy the contents, um, the code. So we have an article that describes everything that we are doing in the video. So you can check down, the, you can check the link down on the description of this video. So, and just copy and this is the Docker file. Yes, so now to for demonstration purposes, I will create a train script, just a simple TensorFlow model and script. So we have it. So I will just copy for easiness. So just a simple TensorFlow model. So we have the Docker file and we have the script, which is train.py script. Now with this, you can be able to build uh, an image with uh, the Docker file that we've just created. So after this, we now need to set up an installation folder, which contains the configuration for running AWS SageMaker as configuration for running AWS SageMaker image as a kernel gateway application. Now the conf oh, for the configuration, I will name it up image config and just copy the content of input JSON file. JSON file. Yes, so just copy and paste. So we name it as custom TensorFlow 2 and then it specifies the uh, Amazon EFS, that's the Elastic File System volume on our image and the kernels. So the kernel is the IPython kernel. You can just have the R kernel also but in this one, we'll use the IPython kernel. So we we'll save it. Yes, then we will also create the default user settings. Default user settings .json. Copy the contents. Paste it. So we 
our image name will be custom image and then we have the configuration file the app config name which is the custom tensorflow that we've just created so this is it start it so cool so we have uh we have set up our configuration our configuration and also we have the docker file and we have the train script now the next step uh for AWS SageMaker to run a container image for training or hosting, it needs to be able to find the image hosted in the image repository. Now, the Amazon Elastic Container Registry is an AWS managed container image registry service that is secure, scalable, and reliable. Now, to create and manage the repositories, you can either use AWS Management Console or the AWS CLI or the AWS SDKs. So just go to, now we'll go to AWS console. And console, so that's how I will create. Then I will sign in to the console. So it will just go directly to my profile. Then I will search for ECR that's Elastic Container Registry. Here it is, and so I already have a repository that I have named ECR Custom Image. But to create the repository, it's an um, easy. It's easy to create. You just click on Create Repository, and you will just fill in this, and then you will click on Create Repository, and it will just create repository. So. After creating the private repository, now we will head back. Um, we need to build our image with the files that we've created, after which we will be able to tag this image and then we will be able to uh, store it in the Elastic Container Registry in the private repository that you've just created. So to run the image, uh, just pick it's very easy to run the image i will name it custom image uh, then put tag which is the latest so uh it will take some time uh but it's it's finished it has finished running so that's it love hearing for easy so we have our image if we just run docker image list we have it's here custom image so we could go so now we have built our image but we need to tag our image before we uh push it to the elastic container registry now uh to tag it just pick this command for tagging Use the docker image tag command. So we have the uh, image name, which is here custom image latest, the image name that we've just created. And then we have the repository name, it's here, repository name, and then which finishes with the image tag that you want it to be stored using in the in the repository so the repository name you can just come and pick it here from here so that is it uh, let me go to the terminal and run this yes so we have it run then uh, um, so we have tagged our image now we need to uh, first authenticate uh, our docker cli to be able to before we push the image to uh, amazon ecr so we will use this command to do that just uh, make sure that you have the credentials so for me i have done to just use this command to run in and uh, to run and it will tell you login succeeded so after this now we need to push the image that we've tagged to amazon ecr that's elastic container registry now to push 
you just use to use this command that's docker image push so docker image push then you name the name of the uh the name of the image now remember it's no longer custom image because we tagged it um we tagged it using our private repository so just run this to push and it's preparing to push now i had already uh, run it but it will take some time so that's why it has taken small time because i had already done it so now you have pushed uh, the image you have pushed the image the custom made image to amazon uh amazon private uh, ecr private repository so let's uh see if it was successful just reload it and open it yes so we have our image here as latest that's the tag that we did put and it's here you see it has just uh, been pushed at this time so we have successfully pushed we have successfully tagged and pushed the image to amazon elastic container registry now the next step we have to is to tag uh, to be able to attach this image to AWS SageMaker notebook so that we can be able to use it. So let's search uh, SageMaker. SageMaker. Amazon SageMaker, go to Amazon SageMaker. So, so you have the custom image and you want to use it uh, for training in your um, notebook. Now, for you to create a notebook, uh, for you to attach the image, you will just go to uh, Studio. Uh, no, you will on on the left panel. You will just go to Images. Yes, you will go to Images, and you can be able to see that I had created this image. But to create the image, you just need to create the image, provide the ECR image URL. To do this, you just uh, to provide with it. Uh, let me show you how to get the URL. You just go to the last ECR, the last container registry where we have pushed our image to. And yes, so. This is the URL. Uh, copy image URL. Go back. Paste it. Right. Yes. Next. So provide the image name. Then the image display name that it will be displayed. You need to add the description. And you also need an execution role. The IRM role that, you know, will um, give permissions to execute this image and then you will choose the last thing is you will choose the uh, kernel so we had created the python kernel so you will choose the SageMaker studio kernel so also remember to add the efs mount path this we had done in our uh, installation folder the config file we add the efs mount path and we put it to root data. Then after that, uh, so let's just uh, name it one, display name, camp, custom image one, then the description, custom uh, image for training. Yes, and we have the execution role here. So, Python 3, that's what we had chosen. Then after that, submit. So now it will create. Yes, so we have here our image. It has been attached to our Amazon uh, SageMaker Studio. Now from, it, from this, you can be able to use it in your training. So that is it. So you have successfully um, built custom Docker image and you have uh, tagged it 
and you have pushed it to the Elastic Container Registry and then you have attached it to the Amazon SageMaker Studio. Now you can use it for training purposes. That is it. Thank you so much.